on a mission to deliver the very best wine that we could dollar for dollar of uh, at the price points that we sell it at. And so that started, you know, two years ago with uh, wines at a $20 price point. This is basically just the manifestation of that at a very, very premium level. Um, and it's fun to actually talk to a lot of the people that are probably watching this, just given that they're, you know, deep into NFT culture. Like I would put the vineyard sites that we source from the farming, the quality of winemaking very much in like the ultra, ultra blue chips of all of winemaking. So this is sourced from some of Napa's most prestigious vineyards for wine geeks. They would know these vineyards very, very well. Um, and what we set out to do is deliver a wine that would otherwise cost, you know, in some cases, 200 plus dollars a bottle for, um, a much, much more fair Nate, price. What the, Nate, what are the three price points? Uh, 70, if you buy a per bottle, if you buy a case, uh, 75, if you buy per bottle, if you buy six and then 85 per bottle, if you buy three and shipping's included in all of those prices. Understood. Go ahead, Johnny. Um, I mean, that's it. That's it in a, in a snapshot. I think the wine itself, um, I think what's cool about it is it's delicious right now. So you could like open this for the holidays and, um, enjoy it with family. It's also for those that want to have a keepsake or a collectible for a long time. This is something that, you know, if you store it properly, could age for 20 or more years. So, um, let me yeah. jump in here because we've now got all the Gary V channels live. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, you are joining us for a very special event. Uh, John and Nate uh, are my partners in Empathy Wines. We sold the company to Constellation. I went to Constellation, these guys and the rest of the team there and said, hey, what about a collaboration with Empathy Elephant from V Friends? Uh, and we produced a super premium 2019 Napa Valley Cabernet that we are selling right now. You can go to garyvee.com slash empathy live. Um, we're really excited about this. Uh, we are almost sold out. Uh, it is a wine to John's point, and we're going to get into it. I'm thinking, I haven't tasted it yet. You two have? It feels like you two have. Uh, I taste it a couple times. A tiny bit. Yeah, so this is first for me. We set out to produce a two, $225 quality wine, which is what we did. Um, and as John was just saying, we have three versions of this being sold right now. You can buy a three pack, a six pack, a 12 pack with free shipping just between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. We probably won't make it to Cyber Monday as we're already almost, we're more than halfway sold out. Um, it's a collectible. I will be signing bottles at VCon. Um, it's a one-time thing. Uh, and John will talk about the 2019 version, but I see a ton of you are in the comments and I need all of you that are part of the Vayner Nation and the V Friends universe, please link in LinkedIn, in all these different chats, uh, the URL to the site. I'm going to tweet it right now. If you want to go to my Twitter, um, I'm going to do that. John, talk us through 2019. 2019, um, overall, it's being considered like a, a really high quality vintage in Napa Valley. Um, I mean, for anybody who's paying attention to the news, you know that the area has been subject to a lot of wildfires. Thankfully, in 2019, uh, this portion of California was entirely, for the most part, spared. Um, and so the wines coming out of there are really, really good. I think all the you know major wine critics are considering it a, a top-notch vintage. Um, and it's like, in general, I would say a, a, a warmer vintage. So wines are pretty big, ripe, um, rich. Like it's a it's a it's a big wine, um, which. I tend to like, I know a lot of people like that style. So that's definitely what you're getting here. Nate, thoughts? I would uh, echo everything John said. We've tasted through, I think three or four different blends with some small tweaks to what we really wanted to make for this particular wine. And all three of us ended up with this particular blend that you're tasting. Um, we were really blown away by it. So excited to, to get it to all you right. all. As we keep building the anticipation for this, a couple things. One, join the Discord. Everybody who's in these chats right now, please share the Discord link. Get everybody into BeFriends Discord. Here's why. Later today, this Black Friday is not just about Empathy Elephant 2019 Cabernet from Empathy Wines. It is also about me giving away a free Go token. That's right. GaryB.com slash Discord. A free Go token for today between 3 and 7 p.m. in the Discord. I will be giving you the rules. 
you need to have a Twitter. You need to change your Twitter profile picture right now to a V friend. Uh, and you'll see a bunch of those in Twitter and a bunch of those in Discord and people in Discord can help you. So I'm giving away a Go token. I also just previewed that I'm doing a contest for people this week. I'm gonna do it twice because most people don't have their books, but a lot of people who are getting the book games tokens bought 12, 24, 260, 500, 800. I'm doing a book giveaway. So free for everybody who's watching, getting free books from VFriends community members who bought books for the token is gonna be a real thing on Twitter. So pay very close attention to my Twitter. There's no shipping outside the US, but if you use your friends in the Discord, let's put up the Discord link again. What's going on in the Discord right now is people from different countries are finding friends in the Discord to ship the wine to, and then those people are shipping it to them or bringing it to them at VCon. There's a lot going on today. Multiple V friends giving, being given away. I mean, the cheapest V friends now are like $50,000, so big day. And the official sale of Empathy Elephant Cabaret. It's time to give it a snippy sniff, boys. Mm. Uh, one more time in the Discord link, people are asking. GaryV.com slash Discord. So I got linked up with Gary because of Wine Library TV. About, about 12 years ago, where I was a college kid that was interested in wine, discovered Gary through Wine Library TV, just looking up different wine uh, tutorials and education stuff and thought, I'm like, oh, this guy's cool. He's talking wine and business. Sent him a random email um, out of the blue saying, hey, can I intern from you? I'll move to New Jersey over the summer. And um, I don't think I, oh, I heard back. He said, yes. And I'm like, <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. But um, his assistant followed up with me because uh, he went to Arizona State for graduate school and I went to Arizona State for undergrad and he wanted to talk about some bars in the area. And so he kind of set me up, made it happen. That was 13 years ago, 12 years ago. Um, and I've been working with Gary in different capacities ever since, which is just wild what a random out of the blue email can, can do to it's, your life. It's still happening. like. Uh, Scott, no, we unfortunately, believe it or not, in the most ironic twist of fate, empathy cannot ship to New Jersey. So we can't ship it there. So you're gonna have to use your friends in New York City. Uh, John, what about your story of how we got connected? Uh, mine's not too different from Nate's. I, uh, I think mine just started on Twitter and then led to meeting you at the Boston Wine Expo in 2008. Yeah, I needed uh, volunteers to give out my CDs. I was giving out CDs <laughs> of of wine library tv yeah what's funny now is like there are oh, so TV. many excuse me am i the first person that did free work for you that went on to work with you for a long period of time because like that's now like the playbook right yeah i mean your free work was not that hardcore right was your internship unpaid in corked unpaid six okay. months that was massive you yeah. still, it's People don't get it. I mean, I would do it now. Like, I probably worked for Jeff Bezos for six months for free. I'd turn it into ROI positive. I still, I get why people, you know, people are like, oh, that's only for people that have rich parents. Ironically, I find it to be in the extremes. It's either the wealthy or the like, fucking, I got nothing. So fucking, I'm gonna use my grind, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, we don't do that as much now. It's all kind of paid minimum internships. But I still feel like the free gangsters still do a little bit, like, you know, become 13 year relation. I mean, think about the ROI of that for you. I'd do it all over again. Rock, yeah. All, I mean, it's... anyway. Yeah. Um, no, I met you at the Boston Wine Expo, hit it off with your team, same guy, Matt Sidemer, who set me up originally. And um, that then led to an internship at Corked, which was early days of social networks. We were building a niche wine social network um, and really just basically cut my teeth. And let me, uh, let me jump in here real quick. By the way, everybody who's spamming in the content, in the comments about your NFT projects, it is the most guaranteed way for me to not be interested in the project. Guaranteed. Free shipping on everything, by the way. Um, free shipping on everything. If you wanna to talk to me, get in my Discord. GaryV.com slash Discord. If you want to talk to me, I see the comments. The spam is ridiculous. All C, we're gonna, let's start ban, banning some people too. It's just like a complete waste of time. Um, All C Garage, you're finished. All right, let's, uh, let's get into this wine. Sniffy sniff time.
Mm. Yes, I like that little scrolly thing you did, Dustin, underneath. Nice, nice job. Um, so mine's only been open for about 45 minutes. Hmm. Big nose, a lot of red fruit. But still tight for me. I just didn't, I did, I should have opened it earlier. Uh, for people that are asking how to order, GaryB.com slash empathy live or go into Discord. People are sharing the URL pretty aggressively in there. Um, what are you getting on the nose team? Getting a little leather on the nose too. I agree. Yeah, like tobacco-y, kind of like cigar-ish, like, but then a lot of like the red fruit that you said, Gar. Like big shout out to 121.eat. Just ordered 12. I'm reading my Discord as we're hanging out here. Big shout out. Individual. Yeah, the fruit is amazing. Oh, I love this. Carlos underscore C ordering more as people are starting to realize it's almost gone and they are going to flip it. <laughs> I love the fact that people are going to flip the That's exactly right. Uh, Joe Rubini, many people from Canada are ordering because they're getting friends in Discord in Buffalo, in Washington State, in, in other uh, Idaho, teaming up. A lot of teaming up. A lot of Vermont and New Hampshire friends helping out as well. Gary, are you signing bottles at uh, VCon? I am. Okay. People I'm trying to meet every asking. single person at Beacon. Um, Nate, your wedding, you decided was Beacon's weekend. That really, I, I, we booked the wedding before the Beacon date was announced, and I didn't like, know it. Yeah, I should have told you that first thing. AJ is the most upset of all because he wanted to go to all of. I'm like stuck. I'm like, oh, this is just. I'm like a super upset slash. I got fucked, but but I have like I have no choice. AJ's in this spot. AJ's going to the wedding, obviously, which is the appropriate thing. But he's gonna try to come to. He's gonna come for like a day Friday or two. Morning. Right? You, yeah. Is Friday evening gonna be your rehearsal dinner? Like a rehearsal dinner, but yeah. yeah. So anyway, such is life. Such is you life. Will, you will be missed. I'm devastated. That's the only bad thing about Beacon so far. All right, get let's more? get into this. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna win this game. Big shout out to Zane. Um, oh, Jody has a great idea. Nate says that you should switch your wedding to Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will definitely ask Tess's parents about that, but. <laughs> uh, the Discord is garyb.com slash Discord. For everybody who's watching right now that's in comments on Facebook, and YouTube and all these chats, please share the URLs to the Discord and to the wine. Ooh, Mark Lee just got a case. Big shout out. This wine should breathe for, I'm seeing the comments. The wine should breathe. First of all, this wine should, based on my first initial attack on the mid palate, the tannin structure and the finish, this wine will last for 25 plus years. As a matter of fact, Nate, you should probably buy a case and it should be your and Tessa's like anniversary wine and you should drink it like one bottle Once. over the next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've already bought some, but I should buy more. I think this is a 25 to 35 years in the cellar wine. It's a big, it's a this big is wine. incredibly big. This is incredibly big. This is absolutely the kind of Cabernet that in a blind tasting, that's, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a blind tasting with some serious heavyweights in Q1. I'm gonna start doing some more tasting, get out there with some friends that are into serious wine. And I'm gonna bring a bottle of this. And I, and I know that Harlan and Opus and, and you know, Screaming Eagle and Scarecrow and other monsters will be there. And I guarantee the Empathy Elephant is going to have a massive showing, massive showing. Nate, you wanna rattle off the states that you can't ship to, just for the people that are watching? It's US, yeah. there are several states, you know, wine laws are tricky. Yeah, currently Alabama, Arkansas, Delaware, um, Kentucky, Mississippi, wow. Ohio, New Jersey, and Rhode Island and Utah. Uh, and remember all those states one more time as Nate rattles them off one more time off the top of his head. You can, 
find your friends or have friends or work in other states, but the Discord, garyvee.com slash Discord, is packed right now. I'm going into it while Nate rattles off and I'm gonna let John give his tasting notes. And I'm gonna go into the Discord right now and try to help some of you navigate and make sure the Discord is very active in helping people. Okay, Alabama, Arkansas, Delaware, Kentucky, Mississippi, Ohio, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Utah are currently where we cannot ship. Um, Alabama should change next year. Ohio should change next year. Um, and we're working on working on New Jersey, but that's that's out of our hands there. So, um, yeah, just the the life of living in a, a wow. Crystal Gro- CrystalGroves.eth just helped out somebody that's in India by letting them ship it to her in Pennsylvania. That the you can't believe what's happening. A real teamwork. Kindness in this Discord right now. Hmm. I love it. Uh, John, you want to give some tasting notes while I'm in the Discord? It's garyb.com slash Discord if you want to join. I'm in here just helping. You want to do a little something? Yeah. I uh, I don't think I've had a sip of this wine now for like two minutes, and I'm still tasting it. because it's just, the, the finish is insane. Insane. It's uh, And it's like a, it's a big wine, but it's like... Uh, funny i talk about wine a lot like people and i probably got that from you on wine library tv but it's like uh it's like a football player who goes on like dancing with the stars like it's got real moves meaning like it's not just huge and burly and like big and overpowering it's also got some like nuance to it and delicacy um but yeah it's it's a it's a delicious wine shout out to robbie turnick my best friend growing up he just picked up some uh, please tweet out your receipts or your confirmations. I'm engaging there as well. Um, man, this is such a big wine. Jesus Christ. I mean, I, knew, I, know, I know the source. I know what this wine is, obviously, because I work with you guys. I just didn't know it was going to be this big. Yeah, I, I agree. I didn't. I don't think I anticipate. You know, it's been a little weird in Napa with some of these vintages. So the stuff I've been tasting is from some of the fire vintages. I don't think I realize how strong these 19s are. 18 and 19 were both, I think, awesome vintages. 20, there's just like no wine to speak of. Mm. Nate, John, any thoughts? Why don't we talk about empathy overall? Maybe some people want to get on subscriptions for the holidays of that because I'm pretty excited about our next vintage. Yeah, cool. I also have, but actually, nobody buy empathy yet. I know that's going to fuck you guys up. I, I have a real big plan for us that I want to talk through with you on Monday. Okay. Um, that I think is going to work for this community. All right, no one buy empathy. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but talk to us about what's been going on with empathy and what, this, what the standard structure is for empathy. Yeah, so year over year, um, we we make a, a red, a white, and a rosé, all blends from Northern California, all priced at 20 bucks a bottle. Um, Hold on a second. Jeff Wells got kicked out of the Discord. Jeff, it, I'm like very close to, yeah, I see it. Thank you. Um, Corso and May, and like I trust them blindly. Clearly something's afoot or wrong. I'm going to let Corso reach out to you, hit him up on Twitter, but you're going to have to explain it. They've been coming to me with, people that have been emailing me about bands and they've never been egregious. So I'd like to understand why. Um, Big shout out to Mrs. Lynch who just bought a second case. You know what I love about my community? They're they're so savvy because they crushed on BeFriends, they've crushed on other things. I see a lot of people buying an extra case now because they know exactly what they're gonna buy for 70, sell it for a buck 50. It just, I love the flip life so much. Angelo, what's good? I recognize you. All right, keep going. Yeah, so all sustainably farmed. Um, We offer a membership, which gets you every year over year, the rosé, white, and red of the new vintage. Um, And each year we're trying to source the best grapes and blends that we can make um, to just get that quality for the price that we're trying to deliver. Um, Really trying to highlight the farmers in the areas that we're sourcing our grapes from. Um, And it's been, you know, this will be our our fourth vintage upcoming, uh, which is crazy. Uh, we've continued to have like such amazing feedback across the the three core wines, and and next year we're going to think about, you know, what what else other than the uh, the V Friends Empathy Elephant we can add to the portfolio to continue to to have our customers try 
try new wines and get that quality across different types of products as well. Big shout out to Mark. Mark Zakharoff just picked up a case. I just want to say thank you. Dad's Corner Rips just got three bottles. Thank you so much. Really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, the product is not in Total Wines. The product's not even at Wine Library. This is only direct uh, at the URL, garyvee.com slash empathy live. Um, Mitch Jackson, you'd better give it a try. This is insane Napa Cab from 2019, wildly underpriced. This is like the wine version of the mint day of V Friends. What you're getting inside versus what's being charged at three, six, and 12 bottles is a joke, um, to be frank. Um, and uh, Puppy Planet, please stop spamming YouTube. If you want to talk to me, go into the Discord. I'll really try. Uh, I'm trying my best. Um, uh, Jim Schaefer, thank you for picking up six, three, and three. Um, so, YZ Guy, don't say damn, I only bought three. Three is amazing. We love having you in the community. Um, Dustin, can you please come on board? I've got to do sure. some surprises. You're working with Corso. Mm -hmm. I assume in May, we will now take some questions from people in my Discord, correct? All right, so Discord, God, it's windy out here. Discord, uh, I'm gonna go into the Discord right now. John, Nate, can you recap everything for people that are joining late while I go into Discord and start telling them how they can be on this live stream asking a question? Recap time, men. Give it to everybody who's just joining. All right, I'll kick us off, Nate. Uh, so a couple days ago, we announced a collaboration with uh, the V Friends uh, team and Empathy Wines, where we're releasing the Empathy Elephant 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it's a very limited edition wine. We didn't make a whole lot of it. Um, it is a very, very premium Cabernet from Napa Valley. Um, and really, its, it's mission is uh, the same as every other wine that we've made with Empathy Wines. It's to deliver the very best wine for the price point that we can. Uh, in this case, it's a wine that would typically retail for you know north of two hundred dollars a bottle, um, delivered to your door for for a, a you know a, a fraction of that price. Um, and we sourced it from some of the best vineyards. Did some negotiating um, with uh, with the different growers that we uh, that we sourced the grapes from, and um, super super excited to taste it with you all today. Nate, what I missed. Um, I think that's covers it. I mean, I think we said it's a wine you could probably drink now, but something that'll age for 25 to 30 years be like really awesome collectible. You know, Gary, it's the first real like CPG collaboration that you've done with the, the V Friends character, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a preview, right? Like, you know, and oh, let's also talk about for people that might have just stumbled into this. If you own the V Friend token from series one of Last Glass Standing or Sensible Sommelier, you get three free bottles of this wine, three free bottles. So just go to befriends.com and you'll check, click in, connect your wallet and you'll see it at the top. And if you own an Empathy Elephant, you get six free bottles of this, uh, which is pretty rad. And I'll be doing a lot of that stuff. I wanna make sunflower seeds, I wanna make socks, I wanna make beanies, and I'm gonna be doing collaborations with characters. To your point, wine is collectible and auction offable and wine bid.com a bull and all that kind of stuff. And it's the first one. I did do a streetwear collaboration with patient, you know, prospective pigeon and Jafe Staple. So it's a little apparel, but yes, this is the first consumable package CPG. And we got a ton more massive amounts of, of announcements here in December and January, but this is the first in product form. And obviously it's empathy wines, which I was a co-founder of like, this is really excites me in a lot of ways, uh, in a lot of ways. I um, also- just to know, yeah, I'm please. sorry, no, 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 say, yeah. if, if anybody was trying to shift to Louisiana, we just made a quick update. There was issues before, there shouldn't be issues now. Louisiana is now fixed. Let me just put that into the Discord. All right. Um, let me, Court, so if you could just text me and tell me that you and Dustin are kind of we good. I'm just texting you guys in May right now. Um, we don't need somebody right now, but I'll tell you when I want somebody. So if you can have one or two or three people in um, in the queue. Um, the Discord is lit. Anyone here from Chicago looking for a lot of stuff going on in the comments here. I'm really excited. The wine is spectacular. Recapping it one more time. I mean, if this was old wine library TV, let me do the old wine library TV. Oh, all right. Well, even though I said I don't want somebody on, we got somebody on and we're going to talk to him. Smack, what's good? 
Yo, what's going on? How you guys doing? Good, man. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good, good, good. What's going on? What can we answer Nothing. for you? How you doing? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Spent my day. I finished the book yesterday. Oh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the book. How Fantastic. The book? Yeah, tell me. Tell me um, what surprised you. What what got reaffirmed? What is something new that maybe even my content didn't get you there and the book did? Um, I think the... Well, first, my, one of my favorite parts about the book is the simplicity behind it. Um, as a reader, one of the things I love is just like when authors are concise. And I think, Gary, your your style came through and shout out to Raga for the help. Just like really punchy in terms of like what you're trying to say versus like the fluffiness behind it. Um, some of the things that maybe uh, were reaffirmed for me, just the importance of like kindness, like that word came in up business. over and over and over like, and over business. again. Like we, we were told that kindness is not a core to business, maybe in life, but when we talk about business, nobody talks about kindness. And I genuinely believe that my empire is being built on it and so many others are as well. And so many have, and we've been lied to that you have to be a dick face to win in business. I've, been, uh, I've definitely been in situations um, in work where you have to remind people results and kindness are not mutually exclusive. Correct. So that was a reaffirmation. What else? Um, the, one of the things that was noticeable in every chapter is this idea of balance. Like It's like a dichotomy of like, you have to be this, but you also have to balance it with this. Right, um, and that's a good contradictions, which is why I called it ingredients, because yep. if you're gonna make a meal, it's like sweet and sour chicken, right? They may seem like patience and ambition confuse people. I carry both of them easily, and that's where I was trying to go with it. Yeah, that no, that was perfect. It was clear because it was a good reminder for everyone that you have to you have to balance that. Did you do any of the exercises yet? Um, I started doing the push-ups yesterday. No shit. Yeah. Yep. I'm so. very passionate about it. I think most people will be scared to be vulnerable to do the exercises because I'm really pushing people in the exercises to be like, put your shit out there. Kind of like the step I took with kind candor, which right. would blow people's mind for people that follow Gary Vee. But for Nate and John, they're very aware that I tried to manage in a way that any way not to scare people, but that led people to being scared because I wasn't candorous enough. As a matter of fact, when they were in the office of the CEO, I would say that was the prime era where I probably needed a lot more candor. When we would, three of us, along with Matabel and Marcus, the five of us, we would talk about the shortcomings of individuals a lot and try to navigate their exit or how to help them, where if I just had a sit down and was candorous, half of them would have been salvaged, but I didn't have that ability at that point in my career. Yeah, I think uh, people, anybody that you looks looks back and goes, "Damn, I didn't do any of the challenges," or like exactly the people in the book that you were talking to about, like being creative. Yeah, and, and a lot of people are gonna pick the being vulnerable. People are gonna pick the push-ups one because it's like easier. The one where you like make a video and post on social media and talk about what you suck at is just like a hard thing to ask people to do. Did you did you just say I just did the easy one, Gary? Damn, I did. I did smack. <laughs> smack. Do you own any, do you own any B friends? Yeah, um, three. Um, two for myself, one for my wife. Um, we got two at, we got two at mint. Oh. Um, I got a stoic slime. Yes. Um, I convinced my, my wife to get one. She was dead against, um, NFTs. Yeah. She thought the whole thing was a scam, yeah. stupid. Totally. And I was like, listen, if there's one thing you never do, you never get bet against it, Gary. And she was like, who? And I'm just kidding. She knows who you, she knows who you are. Um, can you, can you got, tell us so you guys who bet against me by taking quick profits off the table? Can you please tell you know, these guys who knew me for 15 fucking years what's the matter with them? I would say I didn't bet it against you ever. I, I, I moved to New York because of you. I stayed in New York. You were like 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> John, Nate, is this, I actually don't know. So you're telling me both of you do not own a B friend right now? That's correct. I, I don't. I sold my spiffy salmon. I, but my bet wasn't. I was short-sighted on NFTs. I thought that there was going to be a spike in the market and that I'd be able to flip it and get back in. Learn the lesson the hard way. Floor shot up. Hold on one second. The one thing I can guarantee now is that I'm not joining Meta Billionaire because of all the spam that's in my YouTube. So let's, uh, um, Corso, May, anybody who's watching, can we please ban all these people that are pumping their their NFT projects. I just want to ban all of them, block all of them. It's completely ridiculous. It's it's super sad. 
I actually was looking at that project as something I was interested in. Now I'm definitely not doing it because of the spam. Um, and so that's that. Anyway, Smack, thank you so much, brother. I'll see you at VCon. Yep, Stoic I'll be slime. there. Give me the other two. What's that? Stoic Slime. Oh, Warm, uh, warm Wolverine. Ooh, I got something big brewing with Warm Wolverine. Nice. And then um, uh, the one I picked up aftermarket, I got um, an epic Humble Hummingbird. Ooh, my man. Yep, thank you, guys. Can you believe how crazy they are compared to how much they were at Mint? Oh, it's insane. I mean, it kind of expected. I mean, what does your wife say now? Um, she will never, ever, ever sell it. She's like, <laughs> this, this is it. I'm keeping it. So she's, uh, she totally gets it. She spent a lot of time with me diving into NFTs and stuff, spent a lot of time with me in Discord. So a huge fan of it all. Love it. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank Let's you. Keep it moving. Um, uh, all right. Let's, um, let's, uh, Let's get another person here. This is pretty fun. Rax, what's good? Let's go. Yo, what's up, Gary? What's up, everyone? How's it going? How's Rax, it going? two things that I observed besides the obvious that you're anonymous is that you are both have an empathy book behind you. Oh, and also an adorable child. And you have a t-shirt of the ones that I get. Oh, there he is. <laughs> By the way, you just showed your face. Let's get the Yeah, <laughs> no you, worries. No worries. You got the shirt. That means you were in line. At the uh, at the secret wine party, I appreciate is you. Is that a bottle of empathy wines too, or no? Is that a what? Oh yeah, we got some after nice. wine party. Oh. We, my oh, wife had to get that. one, and she wanted to try it, How so I had to buy her one. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. Had yeah. some good family time. Nothing crazy. Yeah, um, chill. Just good family time. That's the best stuff. How about yourself? Really How's good. Any, anything I can answer for you while we're together? Yeah, so I'm not a wine collector. I just bought 12 of the Empathy Wine co collab. And how do you store them? What should I do to, to keep question. them? So if you have a garage or a basement, they'll probably be consistent and cool enough. Given that these have a dark horse chance, not guaranteed, I'm not promising this, but I do plan on dominating the earth and I do think that how little there is of this and how premium it is, there is a dark horse chance that these could become $500, $1,000 collectibles in the future. That may, in a world where you paid 70 bucks for it, it might be worth it for you to buy like a $300 small, John, name. maybe you can help me here. I don't know how much a 24, or 36 or 48 bottle wine fridge costs these days, but racks, Given the appreciation value, it's not the worst idea to maybe buy a tiny wine fridge, plug it in somewhere, and just put the bottles there. John, Nate, thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it's the move. If you're definitely looking to hold these for you know a decade or more, like you can get really solid wine fridges at like a Costco or BJ's or one of those big uh, big box stores for a couple hundred bucks, um, and it'll it'll make sure the wine's safe and sound and keeps uh, keeps for a long time. Cool. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you, guys. Rax, thank yeah, you so thank much you. for being part of this community. Do you have some bee friends? I do. I have a couple. Good, good. <laughs> Minted all of them. Yeah. You don't need to. You don't need to go further. I love you, my man. Have a great holiday. Appreciate you guys. See you guys. Have a good one. Thanks. Everybody's asking where the Discord is. That's where all the action is. Go to GaryV.com/discord. Um, highly recommend you become part of our Discord community, especially because for the people who are still watching. There's a very big thing going on, which is tonight, this evening, this afternoon, I am giving away a free V friend. Shortly, actually, I might even do it soon. A free V friend. Look for that offering um, that is happening today. Free, free V friend coming shortly uh, on my Discord and a more details on the book giveaway. A lot of you have 144 books, 244 books, all sorts of numbers. 2412 asking for ways to. Um, do clever things with this. I think there's a lot more people that actually want the book in hand. So my plan is to do two giveaways, one this upcoming week, one in between Christmas and New Year's where you document how you're doing the giveaway on Twitter, get people to get the book from you. And then I uh, randomly select two people and give an epic go, which is very expensive. Uh, so look for more of that info. So please go to garyb.com slash discord and get into uh, the Discord now. That's where the action is. Big shout out to Mark. 
Who is ordering one in the next 10 minutes? Leave a comment right now on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Who's ordering some empathy, elephant, cabernet? Please give me a signal right now if you are. And if you're interested in buying that, go to garyvee.com slash empathy live. I'm gonna share that link right now. Um, who is ordering right now? And let's get somebody else in here as we speak. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi, Crisley. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> so I'm really glad to be here. <laughs> How are you? Where are you from? I'm from uh, the Netherlands, actually, but my parents are from Ukraine. Uh, and I joined the Discord like a week ago. I've been active every day doing my research and really enjoying the community. <laughs> well, we love having you part of uh, the community. Uh, John, Nate, Thank say hello, you. please. Hey, Chris, hey, how are you? Yeah, Shane, I'm really good. How are you? Good. Cody Stevens, thank you for your three. Ernesto, thank you for your three. Shining, thank you for your 20. It does not ship to Canada, Peter, but if you go into the Discord and you live in another country or in a state that you can't ship to, in the Discord right now, garyv.com slash Discord, many people are teaming up, having the wine shipped to them and helping lots of friendships. Chris, is there anything I can answer for you? Actually, uh, no, I've just be really been observing everything you say, so soaking it all up so I don't feel the need to ask questions because I have so much content to listen to, to watch to. So after I did all that, I will sure have some questions. I loved it. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, thank you for being part of the community. And uh, for, for people like Chrisley and others who are just getting in, Series 2 V Friends comes out in Q1. By the way, I love your album. Is that, yeah. that, is that that Disney character? What's his name? Yeah, it's it's Stitch. Yeah, and Stitch. it's like Woody. So it's until my it. knees. It's so it's so cozy. I love and, it. Uh, well, listen, for everybody like Crisley, as you might have known in the Discord in there, Series 2 is coming out in Q1. I'm committed that the V Friends in Series 2 are less than $1,000 USD, um, whatever, in Ethereum, whatever the price is then. So look for that as well. And Crisley, thank you so much for being part of it. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. Hi. Nate, nice what, what should we talk about? Because I'm getting updates that we're getting. I think we're going to have enough. Like, there's still some. Um, some. It's getting close. It's getting close. What, uh, what should people know about the wines? John just had a swig. Um, I mean, I just keep going back to it as we're talking, which I think is always the sign of a, of a really good wine. Is something that you just kind of drink without even thinking about it and it's delicious. So um, I don't, this was a, this was like a very new thing for us. We've always been around the $20 per bottle. Honestly, I didn't know how this was going to perform with our community and the V friends community doing something so premium, but the wine is so damn good um, that I think that we, we really delivered on, on the price point that we're selling at. So uh, by the way, a couple things that just popped up. Yes. Uh, you will get these wines ASAP. So the wine is available. And when I say ASAP, I know it's gonna be a little delay here, Nate, but you do feel confident-ish. I know logistics and some things are out of your control, but we will be getting these out in early, early December. So most people that have ordered it will have it in time for their Christmas table, correct? Or yes. Christmas gift. Yes, it will be there before Christmas. I love it. I love it. Pending any carrier issues and all that stuff, it's crazy out there right now with with carriers and shipping. But we will we will have it out as soon as possible for for before Christmas. John, Nate, can you guys hold the floor for two minutes while I go into the Discord and talk to everybody and maybe give everybody a recap and thoughts and anything else what we're doing here? Yeah, I'm sure. You can go, right. go ahead. Yeah, I think uh, no, I think just building on what Nate was saying around like parting thoughts as we get close to wrapping up from my standpoint, um, it's not lost on me that $85 for a bottle of wine is, is a lot of money, even though I think it's like a tremendous value at the price point. Um, I think for people who are interested in wine, like kind of a budding interest in it, like we make a lot of other wines at, at a $20 price point, it's a ton more approachable and affordable. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything about like, getting wine education or anything like that, hit me up on Twitter, Trouty. Like would love to um, help advise people on like their early shopping, early buying, even like outside empathy wines, just like advice on getting into wine. I think it's a lot like NFTs where like you start to go down a rabbit hole and learn a little bit and you get more and more excited. And 
you just realize it's like an endless journey. So um, yeah, that would be, that'd be kind of my thought is like, hit me up. would love to help anybody um, help them like coach them through their, their early wine buying days. I love that. A um, lot of, I'm seeing a lot of questions in discord, Canada, we can't ship New Jersey. We can't ship. There are several places we cannot ship. However, if you go into discord, I'm watching it happen right now in front of my face. People are helping each other, um, helping each other get the wine. There are tons of people in New York and Pennsylvania buying for people in New Jersey as we speak. There's a ton of people in New Hampshire, Wyoming, Idaho, and Washington state that are helping people in Canada, depending on what part they are. I've also seen people from India and the Philippines getting helped as well, the UK as well. So if you go in there and say, can anybody help me? Uh, people are doing that. Ivan B, thank you for just picking up your six bottles just right now. Uh, the reason not Jersey is state laws are different and Jersey's state laws for wineries is different than retailers. And there's a lot of things um, that, you know. Yeah, Jersey has some intri intricacies for sure. Uh, we, we previously were able to, and, and now we're not, but we're, we're working on that. Yep. Um, cool. Uh, let's get somebody else on here. Cause I know there's somebody in the back and yeah, this wine is stupid. Spencer, what's good. Hey, what's going on Gary? How are you doing? Things are well. How are you? Excellent. Pleasure to be interacting with you. I'm, I'm a, uh, like you said in the wine library today, wine library days, a lurker. Been around for a while and uh, just you know really getting involved. Never had any crypto or NFTs or anything like that. Um, and but when you started talking about the project, I was like, man, let me just jump in. And I've, I've told friends it wasn't even really so much as buying cryptocurrency or buying NFT. I saw it as a way to buy stock in Gary Vaynerchuk um, from all that you've been. And I'm not even a wine drinker. Um, you know, just you know watching you on you know, YouTube when you're first starting out and your passion and interest in the, in the content is what got me starting to follow you years ago. And um, so, but yeah, so ended up getting in, got a yeah. dedicated Dragonfly and uh, that's on uh, Instagram. My name is uh, Dragonfly Fern Base. I'm a bass player. And so that's, I why, I up, that's why I ended up getting a, uh, a Dragonfly one. And, you know, so much of what you talk and cut, tell me to stop if I'm talking too much, but uh, you know, no, so no, much, go, go. Of, um, you know, what you talked about is so encouraging and have gone through a lot of uh, difficult times in life lately. And with the dragonfly, they live the majority of their life underwater. But then when they come out, they have the highest success rate of uh, hunting in the animal kingdom. And so that's why I ended that's up amazing. doing that. And I was like, this is like the, the part two of my life journey, I really feel. And that was why I ended up going with the uh, dedicated dragonfly. So what's amazing about that is. And you bought a core at the floor? Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a core one. Um, did, I you got buy it, it for, did you buy it at the floor at 0.5? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was uh, 0.5. And, well, how do you uh, like, I mean, that's just such a come up in such a short period of time. Like, yeah. Let, let me tell you this, though. Here, here's my, and no doubt about it, totally grateful. Don't, I don't want anyone to twist this and what I'm about to say. I feel like I'm holding a Mickey Mantle rookie card that I can never sell. It's yeah. like going up in value. But I know it could it's, be it's why it's why my brother AJ buys two of everything because then you get stuck. If you had two, you yep. would have sold one now for a sixty thousand dollar come up, and you would have been like, "Fuck, right?" Yeah, that's it. That, no, I would have been paying for. I'm I'm going to be at VCon. I'm trying to get my brother to go with me. He doesn't have a V friend. But I'm trying to get him to go just to be. I want him to. He's an artist. I want him to be in the space, in the environment, just moving around, even though he can't get in. I'm like. You know, we'll meet up with people for dinner and stuff like that. And I, mm -hmm. you know, Corso. My, first of all, shout out to my man Corso who let me in the uh, in the thing. Um, he's been great during the NFL chat. That was how I got uh, connected with him. So thank you, Corso, for letting me hop in here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but we just want him to be able to meet the people and um, you know, and be around and be in that environment to get him involved in the NFT space with uh, the work that he does artistically. And so I'm just, you know excited about the opportunity to be up Excuse me for one second. People are asking yes. if I gave the go away yet. Not yet. Uh, that will be coming up shortly. That will be happening in the Discord. Looking at the numbers on, on the wine, we're well over 50% of the way there. We're probably 70%, 80% of the way there. There may be, you know, this will probably trickle after this because we'll be off here soon. Well, there'll be one more email that we send on Monday morning on Cyber Monday because this is from right now till Cyber Monday. I don't think it's gonna last as people start to uh, 
chat, but I just want to give everybody a, a clarity, transparent update. Spencer, I think you're right on the brother thing. I think you should push them because the nut, you know, we're ending the content somewhere around eight o'clock each night. And I think from 8.30 to two in the morning, there's gonna be action in hotel rooms, restaurants. Yeah. That, that Minneapolis during that three, four days is gonna be out of control with like good vibes and people in the Discord awesome. meeting up. And I think you should push him. And I'm so glad you have that NFT, you don't even know. Yeah. Bro, I got, I got the NFT, I got, um... I picked up three bottles earlier this morning. Thank got you. my books. Um, you know, so listen, the book, the book NFT, book games, well, obviously that's coming real short. That'll be next. I think people are gonna be really surprised. And you know, I haven't really been obvious about this yet, but I'll share it with you. Like, even if you bought 12 where you get one token, you could get the token. So it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be really exciting. And awesome. book games is forever. I'm gonna be doing things sure. with the book tokens forever. Um, I'm gonna lay it all out. There's a lot to do right away and to play. And then there'll be something around VCon and really forever. So I'm really, I think it's gonna be a good token and tokens to own. Cool. Good stuff. Good all stuff. right, brother. We'll talk soon. Hey, I, I got the green on for you. You know, Bailey Avenue in the Bronx. Got, got you That's know, didn't have my jet stuff for me, but I Thank you. Green on for Bailey Avenue in the Bronx. So my grandfather used to play handball down there. So I love that. It's been a pleasure, my man. Stay well. All right, take care. All right. Cheers. Wrapping up here, guys. Uh, we'll get one more person in. I'll call that person in a few minutes. Let's just recap. Please go to GaryV.com slash Empathy Live, especially now as we're getting down that stretch. If you want to get your wine, this is absolutely the time um, to get in. Um, Hashpog, you can still buy books, but not for the NFTs. Um, um, and... Let's just actually take, let's just taste the wine one more time to give people a preview. Like the red fruit is so odd. Like the raspberry, strawberry, like kind of jam thing. Oh, big shout out to TK, Taksu, Kim, two cases. This is definitely the stretch. You know, I love that little photo he has, uh, where she has, um, couldn't see, but uh, at, at um, Fenway Park. The, uh, the thing about it is like I've already gone through a quarter of a bottle of wine. Like it's just easy to drink. It's just delicious. So I'm going to be ready for a nap. <laughs> Crazy how easy it is to drink and how big it is. Um, I think is like the very interesting, cool thing about it. Yeah, it's, it's actually just like, I think it falls into that cult wine. Like to me, this reminds me of the Harlins and the Screaming Eagles and the Scarecrows and the you know, just the super two, three, four hundred dollar wines in Napa that I drank over the last 25 years. That's that's why I think I, I gotta go look back at the way I reacted when I first tasted it. I'm curious how my eyes shifted. Cause I was like, oh, okay, this is not a fucking joke. I, I would say if people are gonna open one of these soon to definitely let it let it open and air out for at least- Yeah, why didn't, why didn't just ask how to tannins? They're big, but they're sweet. The tannins are delicious, which is why they're palpable right now. But um, um, Brianna, if you're just joining right now, if you buy three bottles, you get three bottles. There's no attachments, just a, there's three, six and 12 bottle orders available. Uh, if you go to GaryV.com slash empathy live, um, there's nothing that happens. We've just got a very super premium. I, I think when I taste this, this is a $235 Napa cap. And that's, that's my peg price in my mind, quality wise what I'd feel comfortable paying for it. Um, and so we've got this at what, 80, uh, remind me guys, if you buy, th yeah, this is a three, four hour breather, to be honest. Really it's a four to five hour decanter. And really it's a six to 12 years in the cellar. Like it's massive. Uh, recap the pricing team. Yeah, so we sell in three, six and, and 12 packs. Shipping is included on every order. Um, at three bottles, it's 85 a bottle. Um, so I think that's two, 255. Um, Free shipping on all, by the way. Everyone's good on everything. And then six bottles is priced at 75 a bottle uh, and 12 bottles is priced at 70 a bottle. Uh, by the way, see multiple people just now from Jersey being upset. I mean, like New York City and Pennsylvania, like Philly and New York City or Allentown, PA, if you're out in West Jersey, like New Jersey is the easiest state to ship to somewhere else. Like, I don't want to hear that. Like, that should be super easy. Get into the Discord. People are absolutely helping each other get their wine.
Um, uh, let's do that. Um, let's get the last person in here before we get out of here. Rodrigo. Sounds weird. It's on your end. I like how Rod Rodrigo came in correct. No, like I do normally. Ridiculous hair, no no shirt. He's just coming at it. Rodrigo, something's going on. It's it sounds like like the sound's off. Okay, I'll let you guys play. Um, people asking globally. Unfortunately, we can't ship globally. It's U.S. only. Predominant states, um, most states, but some can't. Um, but if you go into the Discord, discordcom friends or garyvcom discord Nikos, don't say shit. You'll be fine. Go into the Discord. There are people helping each other out so much right now. So much. I'm going into the Discord. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. We're uh, crazy how fast this is selling, Gary. There's not a, not a whole lot of wine left. Is that true? Yeah. Well, I'm just doing something in Discord. I'll try Rodrigo one more time. If not, we're gonna jump out. He's reloading the page. Yeah, we'll give him two more minutes. I gotta go back to family time, Rodrigo. Okay, is it better now? It's better now, my friend. Welcome. Hey guys, hey guys. Thank you. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm great. It's hot in here. That's why I'm shirtless. Good. But, uh, yeah, it's very good. Uh, well, Gary, I just, I, just wanna, yeah, I just I just want to thank you because you know, like uh, I first got in contact in contact with your uh, content like a year ago. My brother actually showed showed you to me, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm I've been really, really into your content and how you talk about kindness and, and gratefulness and everything. Like it, it actually has changed my the way I think, you know, the way I see life. So I'm I'm a better person right now, I think. And so I just want to thank you for this. Thank you, my friend. Where do you live? I live I live in in Brazil in Rio. Very nice, beautiful city. Yeah, yeah. Really beautiful city. Well, thank I'm you. Excited. You don't know how much that means to me. And thank you so much for being part of the Discord community. You enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, lots of nice friends. People. Yeah, yeah. I have, uh, I own a different one. No. I'm, I'm yes, yes. Thank you. I'm so proud yeah. of you. Yeah, man. It's like, crazy. Really... Did you buy it at Mint? Did you buy it at Mint? Yeah, yeah, Mint, Mint. Wow. It's, Which one yeah, do you have? Gorilla. The Grateful, uh, Grateful Gorilla. Wow, really? Yes, yes. Fine. Gratitude Gorilla? Gratitude, yeah. Sorry, yes. Gratitude core? Gorilla. Core, yeah, the core one. Rodrigo, never sell that. I think the Gorilla, the orangutan, because of what's going on with um, with Bored Ape and with CryptoPunks where the ape is very expensive, all of the apes and gorillas and orangutans and monkey, all that stuff inside of V Friends is very underpriced right now from a collectible standpoint. And I actually think Gratitude Gorilla is at the top. So I think you, fuck man, you really nailed it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate what you've been doing for the community. Happy yeah. to do it. Yes. Happy to do it. I love you, pal. Have a great, great holiday. Well, I'll see, are you see gonna you be guys. able to make it? All right, Rodrigo, are you gonna be able to make it to VCon or is it too tough? I'm not sure. I, I work, so it depends on, on work. But yes. uh, I'm looking forward to it. Cheers. We'll talk soon. See ya. Well, listen, everybody, thank you for being with us for this last hour. It was uh, incredibly enjoyable. Always fun to be with you, John and Nate. Um, let's, uh, I'm going to answer a couple of questions I see in here. Uh, book tokens will be sellable on secondary, of course. Anything that's an NFT will be. Um, I'm super excited and very thankful for all of you. Uh, here's the hint on the Go giveaway. I'm gonna be doing it shortly um, and it will be super fun. And uh, please be in the Discord. Um, so discord.com slash Gary V or Gary V.com slash Discord, excuse me, um, is the right URL. 
should be a big deal, should be a big opportunity. Um, and I'm just really excited for all of you to be a part of this journey. One last final push for the wine. Empathy Elephant from Empathy Wines 2019, Cabernet. Um, we are down the home stretch on the wine. So please go to the Discord if you're struggling to get the wine to your place. Um, really, really excited about it. Um, and just very excited about this community, this journey. The book tokens are coming in late, late, late December. Book games are starting. There's gonna be some giveaways if you give away your actual physical books. Look for that in the Discord. Follow me on Twitter and Discord. That's where everything is happening. Uh, and I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their Thanksgiving weekend in the US or if other parts of the world, just a good week. Um, John, Nate, love you guys. Thank you. Uh, you. The percentage everyone. of wine sold is in the ballpark of 70 to 80%, which means we'll probably, I'm gonna ask the guys to send another email in a couple hours to the RSVP list to make sure they all saw it. We'll do another one probably on Friday, Saturday, excuse me, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And, um, and that'll be it. So this should be pretty gone pretty soon. This could all, normally after things like this too, there's a big push as soon as I usually hang up. So that could even sell it out. There's just not a lot of wine left. So thank you. Anything you guys want to part shops with? No, just appreciate everyone uh, listening in and picking up some wine, uh, crazy amount of wine sold today, only a few bottles left. So really appreciate all the support from this community. I'm um, excited for you to try the wine. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I, Nate said it best. Thank you to everybody. Um, really appreciate all this. I apologize. I apologize, John. Mr. Act just asked a great question. Pairings. Um, you know, this is big yeah. steak wine. This is big cheese wine. This is big, um, this is big, uh, uh, um, cigar life. Our, our um, winemaker said roasted lamb shank, grilled ribeye, braised short ribs, things like that would be awesome pairings for this wine. John, sorry to begin. No, I'm, uh, I, I pretty much summed it up. Well, maybe parting thought is I have to go buy my spiffy salmon back. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know what you were thinking. Why don't you actually give us, I actually want to hear both of your stories. What did you mint and what did you sell it for? So go ahead, John. So I bought mine right after mint for, I think, like 0.7. And then okay. I flipped it like four and a half. Like that. And ETH was how much did you make in profit? Uh it was like in a short window. Like it, it sky. Like ETH was right around the same value when I sold. Like not my ETH hadn't appreciated that much. So did you make like six, like sixteen thousand, or like ten thousand, or like what was it? So, yeah, whatever the delta was between. What you don't know, or what are you being shy? Like we need to help people here. Nate, no, no, no. Well, I made like three and three and a half ETH on it. Do you still have the ETH? Yeah. So you you bet on ETH more than you bet on me is basically <laughs> what I'm sensing. Well, I've re, I've redeployed it, but I'm about to come back into VFriends now. Series two. That's right. How many are you going to get? Series one, two. Oh, nice. They're going to be about 950 bucks a piece if I can time it with the ETH price. Obviously, there might be a 24-hour thing. And look what happened. It was 4,500 and 4,000. But what do you think? What do you think? Um, how many VFriends Series two do you think you buy? What's your gut? Five. There, I love that number. Nate, your story, what did you buy, what did you sell? I never got one because my MetaMask was fucked up and I tried to get the Stoic Slime multiple times. So did I give them. you one? I don't remember. No. Okay. Oh, um, so what happened? <laughs> so you didn't own one so, ever? And then it skyrocketed quickly and I'm like, fuck, should I get it now? I'm like, no, I'll wait for it to come down. It never came down, but I'm gonna go heavy into series two. How many do you think you'll buy? At least 10. You're twice the friend that John is, Nate. I love you. Five times two. Parting thought, also parting thought, sun's over next tonight. Oh, yeah. We didn't even talk about our big battle tonight. You guys are super hot, though, right? Yeah, 14 in a row. I'm sure I'll be there for the for the first loss. Right. You're going tonight. Yeah. It sucks because I love taking you to that game. That's kind of our thing, but it was this holiday weekend. So anyway, love you guys. Love you, G. Talk soon. Thanks, everyone. Cheers, Thanks, everyone. everyone. Thank you Happy for watching, holidays. everybody. Please, everyone, share the link to Empathy Wines. Um, to well, the someone URL said sun's stink, tough. What's that? Someone said sun's stink, tough. You're not wrong. <laughs> um, and for everybody who has bottles of Vicon, I will sign as many as I can. And 
yes, at VCon, we will have flea market like dynamics where people can sell this. So a lot of cool stuff, a lot of things to think about. We'll talk soon. Awesome. Make your last ditch efforts. Please enjoy it for the holidays. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.